Hello folks, this is Aitan Ajha from InspireToRise.com and today we are going to talk about the Intel Core i3-9100F. So guys, let's first start with an unboxing for this one. This CPU does not come with internal GPU. It's based on the LGA1151 socket, supports Optane memory, has a 3.6 GHz base clock. There is no hyper threading, so it's a quad core, quad thread CPU. Inside the box, you get the documentation, you get the CPU itself, you get the normal stock cooler for this one. The stock cooler has the thermal paste pre-applied, so make sure that you keep your hands away from it while you are installing it. And I found that the stock cooler was good enough for your normal day-to-day -day usage in the test bench that we built at Voltage PC Nehru place we used MSI motherboard and we used a Gigabyte GTX 1650 graphic card in order to make sure that there was no bottleneck or nothing and now let's talk about the CPU in detail it has support for 16 PCI Express lanes based on 14 nanometer process it has a better boost clock than your Ryzen 3 2200G and it goes all the way up to 4.2 gigahertz and I can say that when using it with the GTX 1650 there was no bottleneck nowhere to be seen gaming performance was good enough it's an okay budget cpu and if you're somebody who's gonna go for an amd based build that would be better for long-term upgradability but right now this is a good budget option and if you talk about the benchmark scores performance etc it's all in front of you and if i talk about few other things the whole platform is slightly pricey compared to a ryzen based build but still intel does get higher single core performance and multi-core performance because of the high clock speeds and it also has support for up to 64 gigabytes of ram all the benchmarks are in front of you and if you talk about few other things then the performance is almost comparable to a fourth generation i7 processor and comparable to 6th gen i7 with a slightly lower multi-core score so the benchmarks don't really go that much in favor of this processor there was no thermal throttling etc while running it on the stock air cooler and if i talk about few other things it has a 65 watt total power draw so that makes it a very power efficient cpu it's priced around 7800 INR right now in India in the offline markets and for such a price I believe that the kind of performance that it does offer is good enough for your normal day to day needs etc. But if you're somebody who's gonna build a system for a long term, I would suggest go for a higher core count or go for something which is AMD Ryzen based. If you can hold out, I would say hold out for the Ryzen 3rd series launch in India or some other things. So guys, this was it for this video. In case you like this one, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and do subscribe to Inspire to Rise for more awesome tech videos like this one. And guys, no matter what you do, stay inspired to rise.